friends. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Haley. I'm going to be breaking down a couple of exercises that I really love to group together that are here to stabilize your core, um, so your abdominals as well as your glutes and outer hips um, through different planes of motion. So all these movements are going to be dynamic and we're also going to be moving through different planes together. So with that, we'll begin with a short warm up, a couple of sun salutations to get the body moving. So let's begin on our feet. Rise to a stand, release your arms down by your side, take a big breath in, lift your shoulders up, and then exhale, soften them down your back. Sweep your arms overhead, reach up tall to expand your side body, inhale. Exhale, standing forward, full hinge from your hips, dive your heart over your thighs. Inhale, high halfway lift, place your palms over your thighs, pour weight into your toes. Exhale, high plank to low plank, plant one palm, then the other, step your feet back. Shift forward, lower down halfway, hug your elbow tips in. Inhale, upward facing dog, draw your thighs from your mat. Now keep your breath. Roll your shoulders down your back as you press into your palms. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Press down and away through your palms now to lengthen your spine. Micro bend your knees to soften your low back and then wrap your outer arm bones inwards to hollow out your armpits. Now three more of those. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high halfway lift, pour weight into your toes. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up tall, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high halfway lift. Exhale, high plank to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, press to your fingertips. Exhale, downward facing dog, lengthen your tailbone. Up and then back. Staying in our downward facing dog shape, we're going to be taking an inverted squat with a hamstring curl of our elevated leg. So with that, find a downward facing dog shape. Ensure that your palms and feet are in the same stance as a high plank. Lengthen your tailbone high. Then I like to draw my feet together for a little bit more balance in the center of my body. Inhale, lift your right leg up high first. Breathe. Dial your right hip down. Soften your left knee right away. Press your palms forward, breathe in. Exhale, hamstring curl, draw your heel towards your glute. Now, from here we start the squat. So inhale, hover your left knee an inch from your mat, stack shoulders over wrists. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Use just your legs rather than your palms. Then as you straighten, you can start to add a pulse up at the top. Or you may find that both feet on your mat, moving both legs together at once, is going to be more supportive today for your structure. And that's okay. Now with this one, you'll take it 30 seconds on each side. If you're moving both legs at the same time, then stick to 45 seconds to really get nice and strong in your legs. Next breakdown will be in a hovering tabletop shape. So plant your palms underneath your shoulders, draw your knees underneath your hips, tuck your toes, hover your knees an inch. Ground into your left palm first. Inhale, reach your right arm up high. Exhale, hovering thread the needle, weave your right arm underneath your left, stabilize your hips. Inhale, reach your right arm up, and then exhale, stretch. A couple times here. So notice where your left shoulder is at. If you feel it crunching into your joint, tap your knees down. Move with your knees grounded and continue to hover so that you're working into your obliques, starting to warm up your spine. Same thing as before, 30 seconds on each side. Make sure you're switching sides. Stick with the same intention for both sides so that your muscles are being worked equally. Coming up to a stand now, we'll be starting in a one-legged shape. Press down into your left foot. Draw your right knee in line with your right hip. Step your right ankle underneath your right knee. Now goalpost your arms. We goalpost that we can start to activate the muscles that pull our shoulder blades together, and so we can start to open up our chest. Woo. Take a big breath in. Exhale, extend your right leg long behind you. Keep breathing here first. Dial your right hip tip down. Squeeze your right glute. Flex your right foot. Now inhale, come all the way back up. Stack shoulders over hips. Press into your left leg. Then exhale, find a little twist. Cross your sternum over your right side of your midline. Press down into your elbow tips. Hug your outer hips in to keep your right leg still. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, extend your right leg long behind you. 
Inhale, come back up. And then exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, extend your right leg, moving into your left glute and hamstring. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, cross over. Switch sides, 30 seconds on both sides, team. Alrighty, taking it down for this one. So this is going to be an asymmetrical push-up. What that looks like is a wide arm push-up in one arm, a tricep push-up in the other. So for your wide arm push-up, stack your wrist, or rather your palm out really wide so that when you bend your elbow, it will stack directly over your wrist. Your other palm is gonna be directly underneath your shoulder. Now I'll do this on my knees and then I'll show you the other side to see what it looks like in the rest of your body. So then as you lower, stack your right elbow over your right wrist, left elbow, left elbow over left wrist, press all the way back up, push-ups are hard. <laughs> lower back, down, and then press up. Inhale to lower, exhale to press back up. So what this looks like from the side, left palm this time will be out wide, right palm will be my narrow push-up. So what this looks like from the side, left arm will be the wide arm, right arm will be the tricep push-up. So plant your left palm out wide, and then draw your right palm directly underneath your shoulder. And then you can take this on the balls of your feet, keep your weight forward into your fingertips, so lower down, hug your right elbow into your side, press back up, inhale, and then exhale. So if you take it down on your knees, press the tip of your pelvis forward so that your weight is still in your palms rather than with your booty back and arching your spine. That'll put a lot of pressure on your shoulder and your wrists. Try it out, friends. So 30 seconds on both sides. Make sure you're nice and even and keep moving with your breath. Last standing exercise before we take it down again. We'll move, move into a standing figure four squat. So I'll start on my right leg. Lift your left leg up. So knee, again, is in line with hip. From here, just to set it up, wrap your inner left thigh out. So now we're externally rotated. Flex your left foot. That's important. From here, cross your left ankle over top of your right thigh, and then send your hips out behind you. You might feel a juicy stretch here. Breathe into that stretch. If you want to just stay and stretch it out, please do. Then goal post your arms once again, really opening up our chest cavity to bring in more breath, more life force. Lengthen your tailbone back behind you. Pull your belly in. Now lift up for two, then lower back for two. Keep this rhythm so that as you're moving through the time, you can match the same number of reps on the other side. Inhale as you lower, and then exhale as you lift back up. Inhale to lower, and then exhale as you lift. Notice that your left knee doesn't want to come up. We really want to press the inner part of our thigh up and then out. Once again, switch sides, 30 seconds on both sides so you're nice and even. Last movement, come on down to your back. Stack your knees over top of your ankles. Release your arms down by your sides. Now flip your palms so that they face up. This is external rotation. Now sweep your arms overhead so that your palms are hovering away from your mat, just to the place where it feels comfortable in your shoulder girdle. Now take a big full breath in. Exhale, lift your hips. Press the backs of your hands down towards your mat. Now pause here. Scrape your heels towards your shoulders to fire up your hamstrings and your glutes. Breathe into your upper chest here. Inhale, lower your hips, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, lift your hips, release the backs of your hands down. Inhale, lower and lift. Exhale, lift and lower. Inhale, lower and lift. Exhale, lift and lower. Now for this one, because we're moving symmetrically, take it 45 seconds the whole way through so that your back line is nice and strong, your chest is nice and open. 